Three, two, one. So now when he came here in 1943, he 
came in 1942. Based on the information collected from Glenn uh, Isaac. Glenn, uh, sorry, Gregory. Gregory. That's why we call the Rift Valley the Gregorian Rift Valley. And the G, actually, it refer, that's why we call the Rift Valley. It's called the Gregory. That's how. Okay. And then now, uh, in 1943, that is now Louis Lickham, Mary Mary Lick actually came, uh, Mary Lick and uh, Louis Lick came in, in 1942. That's the first time they visited this area. And then in 1943, they did the first excavation. So if you go down there, there is a first excavation. You'll see the, the, the first excavation done by uh, Louis Lick. That's how. Okay. And then from there, the area, this area, uh, the mapping of this area actually was done by uh, Robert M. Shackleston. So all the area here. With the rivers, with the, during that time there were no lot no, no, no of rocks, so there were just few parts around. So in 1940, in 1962, now this guy here, this is Glenn Isaac, raised, uh, born in South Africa, raised in South Africa, went. He was a part of a team of students who went to uh, Cambridge University on a scholarship basis. So during that time, there was a apartheid regime in in, uh, in 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 South Africa. So the family moved to Kenya in 1961. So after his education in, uh, uh, in uh, Cambridge University, he came back to Kenya and he happened to have met Louis Leakey. And then Louis Leakey assigned him this station. That's how. So he stayed here for three years, that is since 1962 to 1965. That's how. So Glenn Isaac, uh, Glenn Isaac by the, uh, he has done a lot of research work here in uh, PIA, Monogi uh, Saile, and Kobu Foreign to Uganda, and many, many, many sites around the, the world. Yes, he happened to have died in Japan in a town called Mikosuka. That's where he died in 1985. So from 1985, this station, it actually went dormant. So now there was a group of uh, this, student, uh, this institution that is we call the Smithsonian Institution, National Museum. They are currently doing excavation work at this point in time. So this station is at the National Museum and the Smithsonian University. Okay. This institution in the US. Uh, Switzerland is a very big uh, museum in Washington, D.C. If you go there, you uh, you see that museum. Okay. And this one. This one.